Hi everyone, I'm Amanda Sievertson, the 5th through 12th grade music and choir teacher here at the middle school and high school. Uh, and I'm Nick Mason, I'm the instrumental music teacher uh, at New London Spicer, working with students in grades 6 through 12 in our band program. And we are very excited to tell you about some of the music options specifically available to middle school students going into 6th, 7th, and 8th grade next school year. Why should you keep watching, right? Your kids have these awesome opportunities ahead, that's why. Kids, this is a great time for them to explore in their life, figure out what they're good at. They don't always even know, and these are some great chances for them to try some things um, and that they can use their whole life long. In addition, they get to be part of really big groups. They learn teamwork. Um, it's good for their mental health. There are just so many benefits for being a part of band and choir that are ahead for them. And we just want you to, uh, to encourage your kids and we want to tell you a little bit more about what's ahead for them next year. Uh, so some of the specific registration processes are different this year, uh, especially for students that are going into seventh and eighth grade that have kind of been through the program before. Uh, there's some differences this year, and the biggest one is that now the registration procedure is going to include you in the process when you're working with your students. Uh, so the process is going to happen next week, the week of February 28th, uh, and that sign up is for next school year, the 2022-23 school year. Uh, and a couple of the big changes that are happening next year is highlighted right there at the top of the screen. The choir is now going to be an option in sixth grade, and we're very excited about the possibilities that exist with this new addition to our program. And yes, just like in seventh and eighth grade, it is possible to enroll in both band and choir, and that's gonna be true across all grade levels, six through 12. Um, perhaps the best part about all of this is that students in band or choir will no longer have that ensemble tied to homeroom and study hall. It will be its own dedicated class during the school day. Uh, so that students will get an entire hour class hour of band or choir every other school day at some point throughout the day. Unfortunately, that means general music is no longer going to be offered after fifth grade, but we think the trade-off of getting a performing, a second performing ensemble in sixth grade more than makes up for it. And of course, as always, uh, if you're going into seventh and eighth grade next year, students can still join choir or band even if they weren't in band this year or last year, whatever it was, they are welcome to join either of those ensembles. Specific to band stuff here, um, mostly even just uh, students that are just joining the program for the first time, no, students do not need to know what instrument they're going to play. We'll actually take care of that probably in May uh, when we'll finalize which instrument students are gonna play, uh, we'll have instruments here for them to try out and make sure that it's a good fit for them. Um, and we'll take care of that all in May. All they need to know next week when they're signing up is, do I want to be in band or not? Do we want to be in choir or not? Do we want to do both? Uh, and when they're in band, students will be placed into small group lessons. Uh, and the school does have instruments available. If finances are a concern, all you have to do is reach out and ask. So again, why should your student choose music? So many reasons. Just look at your screen here. They can learn about teamwork without competition. We have public performances throughout the year in our state of the art performing arts center. Have you been in there? Oh my gosh, what a great space. What an opportunity for our kids to share with the community what they've been learning. This is a lifelong skill. I bet there's some of you watching that have said, I wish I would have learned how to play the piano or the flute or whatever when I was younger. Hey, this is your kid's chance to do that. So if they sign up now, it's much easier than waiting. So encourage them to do that. Again, they can explore what they're good at, figure it out. They might not know that they are awesome and music makes them feel wonderful and great. And this is a chance for them to find that out. Um, there's so many benefits from that. They just all can learn so much about themselves and the world around them and things that are happening. It's a great part of the day for kids to engage in a just a little bit different kind of learning that uses their whole body, their emotions, all kinds of things. You don't want to miss out on this during this great uh, really time in their life when they're just sponges. So we highly encourage you to uh, encourage them to take a chance and sign up this next year. 
So if you have any questions, of course, you can reach out to either of us uh, via email, which are listed here on the screen. Uh, and we also have kind of a, a, a work in progress website for our music program. Uh, if you follow that, you have to type it in manually. Uh, if you follow that, uh, that'll take you to our homepage, which has this same slideshow that you see here. Uh, and you can at least follow, uh, click through there at your own pace uh, and read about some of the things that we had. Uh, so we're so incredibly excited I think, to work with all of the kids next year. Uh, and we'd love, we'd love to have anywhere between 70 and 85 new sixth grade students involved in band or choir next year. We think that's a reasonable goal and a great uh, team effort for students to participate when there's lots of kids there to enjoy it with them. So again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and we look forward to hearing from you shortly.